annual Arnold Schwarzenegger Bodybuilding Classic. Here's the very talented Kevin Lavrone, who last year made an amazing comeback from injury and adversity. The things that happened in my life that got me to this point of where I'm at now is almost like a puzzle, you know? Because my mother died and she had cancer, and then I got into the nutritional part of taking care of my body, and I joined the gym because I wanted to be physical fit. That's what drove me when I went to the gym. I ripped my pec in January, and it wasn't until June to where I could do something in the gym that would make me feel like I'm half of a person. There was that uncertainty. Would he or would he not be able to, to come back? So I did things totally different in the gym that I've never even did before. Come on, champ. You know what you got to do to win this. Well, the fact that he got such a good result, well, I put it back and God healed the wounds. But it's strictly a testament to his uh, determination and hard work to kind of resent it together. I had to get in that Olympia and I had to walk on that stage and I had to let them people know, you know, that, hey, this is it. I walked out on that stage after eight months after ripping my pack and three months of training and place fit. It felt like, um, it felt like it was heaven sent, like it was a gift from God, you know. When he took part in the Mr. Olympia competition last year, no bodybuilder had ever come back from such a severe injury to compete at this world-class level. Look at his deltoid muscles and his arm muscles from the back. See, the trick here is, is that we show to the judges uh, within a short period of time that you have your back developed as well as your front, regardless if you talk about the back development or the arm development, the deltoids, it has to look impressive from the front and from the back. You always try to turn around and show to the judges, kind of saying to them, look, the back is perfect, look now, I turn to the front, the front is perfect. Free pose session for Kevin Lebron. Looks like a guy's going right to look at the golf course. It's perfect. I would uh, put him in the top three. I mean, I, and I, maybe it's very early to say that, but I tell you, that was very impressive his routine and his body. Here you can see that how well his back is developed, how defined it is, how well the center back is developed and the outside of the back, the V-shape, the deltoids, the trapezius muscles. Also his arms are very well developed from, from behind. So all that is very important to score high uh, points. That completes the free pose portion of the competition. The pose down round will follow shortly. Earlier today, on the same stage, the Ms. International contest was held. international champion for the second time in four years. Speaking of little, this is Flavio Baccianini, a native of Italy, now living in San Francisco. He says he's the shortest bodybuilder on the world circuit in years. 4'11", 145 pounds. That's what I meant earlier when I said tensity. You talk about tensity, this is the guy. I mean, he has so much muscle packed on his uh, body with his uh, 
you know, 4'11", imagine and, uh, you have so much muscle on him. It's incredible. Sometimes it's an handicap, sometimes it's a great advantage because I look so different from everybody else. Um, sometimes it's a disadvantage because the judges, they always look up, they never look down. <laughs> and inside Veterans Memorial Auditorium and set for the pose down, a very important phase of this competition, it's the last chance to impress the judges. Well, this is, as you said, the most important phase of the, of the competition because that's the time where there are several bodybuilders that are very close right now, that are maybe one point apart or that are maybe even. And this is the time now where you can really separate yourself and, and win. Or if you make mistakes, that's where you can lose your battle. So you can see here that all the guys are kind of jumping next to uh, each other and trying to show to the judges that their arm development, their delta development is better than the, the, the next guy next to him. And so that is what's going on. So it's a very important and very intense phase of the whole post down right now. The six finalists are Andreas Winsor, Aaron Baker, Chris Cormier, Vince Taylor, Porter Cottrell, and Kevin Lebron. So the psychology is very important here. To show the sportsmanship like right now, to let the judges know, listen, I'm a good guy. And in case there's any question about the point, you're trying to use everything at this point here. And that concludes the actual posing, and now it's in the hands of the judges. We asked two of the favorites what it would mean to win the Arnold Classic. Oh, this is the start of a new career. This is the elevation of bodybuilding career for me. If I win this for 94, it's all over. You know, 94 until 96, till I'm ready to stop. It's an honor to be here and to be invited to this Invitational. And it'd be a great, great honor to win. And here's the trophy that's emblematic of the championship. Arnold has now moved backstage to interview the winner. His lovely wife, Maria Shriver of NBC News, awaits with this sold-out Veterans Memorial crowd for the announcement of the awards. A little while ago, the most muscular man title went to Vince Taylor of Pembroke Pines, Florida. Now for the announcement of the championship. The fourth place finisher is definitely the real deal, Chris Cormier. Here is the fourth place finisher at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. This is a rookie on the Pro Tour, the former U.S. Amateur Champion, and the reigning Mr. USA from a year ago, Chris Cormier of Venice, California. The third place award worth $25,000 to Porter Cottrell. And the third place finisher, the fireman from Louisville, Kentucky, Porter Cottrell. And with Porter's third place, this comes a check for $25,000. Porter is 33 years old. Been a professional for just three years. And now we, we come to final two. And Kevin, who do you vote for? Kevin LeBron and Vince Taylor. The second place winner is... Vince Taylor. 37-year-old Vince Taylor, one of the popular figures in bodybuilding, is the second place finisher. And with that finish comes a check for $45,000. And that means that Kevin Lebron from Glen Burnie, Maryland, is the new champion of the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. Here is the final order of finish. With 90,000 going to Kevin LeBron, and he's with Arnold right now. Kevin, congratulations for winning the Arnold's Classic Trophy. Uh, what does it mean to you? Um, me winning this contest uh, means a lot to me, Arnold. I waited a long time to wait to do your contest, especially after the injury. I wanted to get here last year, um, but I couldn't make it, so I had to go back to the drawing board and train harder and come back. It also, winning the Arnold Classic, gives me an opportunity to uh, further my career. Um, I'm involved with a lot of charity work, you know, helping kids and everything, and this title definitely helped me be a champion in their eyes as well. When did you feel that you finally had it and that you won the competition? After my posing routine. Um, in the middle of my posing routine, I, I noticed the crowd response, so I knew that I must have been doing something right. And it wasn't until after the routine, that's when I felt really good. Well, congratulations, and I uh, hope you come back. Thank you. 
So Kevin Lebron's comeback story is now complete. He's the 1994 champion of the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic.